So every time you jerk on the throttle, the bloody cab just bends you go, hey! Grumpy Grandad ain't done anything I asked to do. Hey, naked! Naked Grumpy Grandad! Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha He's like, oh no! Come on! <sighs> Monday morning, eh? Woo! Nice proper farming now, boys. <laughs> Good afternoon, Melanie. How are we doing? I'm Daniel. Welcome to Benland Farming Adventures. What are we going to get up to in today's adventures? Well, I'm back in the class. This thing's great. It's quite comfortable, but the throttle's really jerky. So every time you jerk on the throttle, the bloody cab suspension goes way. So uh, yeah, Martin's in full swing. He's lifting like a pro. Grumpy Grandad ain't done anything I asked him to. Oh, he's naked. Naked Grumpy Grandad. Maybe you'd be Mr. September with a body like that. Sexy. He's got pretty. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> He's like, oh no. But yeah, mine's, uh, mine's lifting like mad now. So, Topper's working a treat. He's flying along. Getting on a way better than he was. Or we were. So, we've just got so many trailers and so many tractors between us. We ain't got enough sheds to put them all in. So, they're all coming back to mine. Well, half of them are coming back to mine. And then, as he's grading them in the mornings, I'm just running them back and bringing an empty trailer back to mine. So I've got something here to, to ferry after him with. Be Mr. September with a body like that. Next year. Next year, yeah. He's, he's still working on his winter body, his grumpy granddad. He's still pretty. So uh, I'll carry on moving the combine header. we just got to clear our shed out, because obviously we're um, going to need to put potatoes in there at some point next week. But it is way... Way too hot to be um, storing spuds, I do believe. Martin's trying to get his shed filled up, so the whole field lifted and then he can put the chiller on, you know? I don't know whether he's putting it on every evening or not, but yeah, this class has got plenty of poke to her. She's got loads of smoke coming out of the exhaust, loads of poke. It's just, uh, it, needs a, it needs a cab suspension springs and the throttle sorting out. It'd be a good tractor, I think. A lovely little tractor. Powering along, Ugh. we're in. We'll leave that here. I'm going to go and get on with all my other jobs. I'm going to go and get the combine header moved. And then I'm going to get the little trailer. I, I say little trailer. I use the term real loosely. The biggest trailer on the farm. And this one of the, well, it is the smallest tractor on the farm. So the McCormick's Little Red isn't the smallest tractor because it's got the more horsepower. But, oh, some high quality H2 wheel. So, Grumpster obviously got the combine moved okay. We'll, uh, we'll get a little green hooked up to the header. And then the last thing we're going to do today is... Um, Get the header moved, once we've got the header moved and then undercover up the shed. Once we've done that, we are gonna just get the western empty. I've still got about 10, 12 ton of wheat on that. Then we'll go from there. Right, just put the uh, the um, jockey wheel down or up. Yeah, jockey wheel up. And not a lot of clearance on this little trader. Probably get away with it on the uh, 6170 on them 50 inch um, skinny wheels, but Now, boys, 6200, 16 ton western. <laughs> that poor little tractor can hardly drag itself along, let alone a trailer like that. And then I got a little red on the big red, 14 ton Bailey. So we got we got backup. We have got spares. It'll be in a nice day tomorrow, so we may have the tomorrow off and then work all day Sunday, I think. So that's what we're planning on doing. Probably going and carrying on with the bagging line, and it's gone. Martin seems to be getting on okay, so gonna shut the shed up a little bit now and go and have a cup of tea, I think. Pooped right out. Busted right up. Worked my nails down to the bone, whichever way you want to call it. I'll get the shed shut up and uh, we'll see what adventures 
they're in store for us next time I turn the camera on. Cheers, guys. Good morning, Fernandez. How are we doing? Monday morning. I had a good weekend. Uh, I think the plan for today is me going to help Martin just ferry trailers around this afternoon. He's um, flat out grading this morning. We'll um, get the trailers. I've got two of his trailers here already. So we'll just help him get geared up and then hopefully a bit later in the week we should be able to get started on our own potatoes. I hope. Fingers crossed. Now, now I've got a puncher that needs fixing on this trailer. Get my airline quickly. See if this little compressor will actually blow it up. What do I do with the um, extension lead? There we go. Let's hope this little compressor blows it up. And yeah, because Martin's loading so many trailers, like, I mean, the other after, last Friday afternoon, he loaded eight trailers in the afternoon, which is pretty good going. I mean, he'd probably have loaded about that anyway with his trailed one, but I think that's pretty good going. I'm just not unhappy with that. Oh, maybe it is blown up. Maybe it's already full of air. <laughs> Doesn't say it's got any air in it. No, that's not firing up. Come on. Gentle little love tap, but it's not even working. Right, okay, cool. So I've got to get my uh, trailer over to the compressor, blow the tire up. And then once Anna gets here, say a bit of a bugger and about day again today because we're helping Martin out, but hopefully Anna will, uh, I've got some bales and stuff for her to practice using the telehandler, which would be interesting. Why is there no, nothing's working. <sighs> Monday morning, eh? Woo! Okay. Just turned up to the farm with like, my Fenlander, my quarter zip on, and then my fleece. Daniel was like, you ain't gonna need half of them on. So I've just taken them off. Just put my overalls on, just got my strap top on underneath because it is warm today. Considering it's October, it shouldn't be this warm, but it is, so it's okay. Anyway, Daniel is off out and about today. Sorry guys, battery just died. So Daniel's just gone off to help Martin. He's gonna go and try and help do as much tractor trailer in around to get him sorted and then we can have the harvester but yeah me and grandpa granddad are here for the day but time hair up we're doing some cleaning and he looks really happy about it no, just, inside just inside the door here so we're cleaning this for spuds yeah what? cleaning this for spuds to go in store, yeah. yeah all right cool uh, okie dokie in doing this lot genuinely thought when I um, started on the farm it'd be a little bit more exciting but you know these day-to-day -day jobs need doing don't they so what is what it's all about it's not just about getting on a tractor and driving had a little tidy up of the uh, shop blaster like all the pipes because uh, I said dad oh they're a bit messy aren't they he was like oh they'll be all right and I've just tidied them up a bit so that when he picked it up with the forklift he didn't like drag all the pipes everywhere so yeah, I will get these guys tidy, make it my mission. So yeah, just got a bit more to sweep up now that Dad's moved all those bits, put them in bags, and then Dad's gonna get me a pallet to put all these bags on. So yeah, cool, I'll crack on with that. I wonder how Daniel's getting on. It's nearly docky time, so I'm hoping he'll be back soon and let me know what's going on. I don't know if he's gonna be all day carting potatoes, because if so, obviously then I'm just on my own all day with Grumpy Granddad for company, which is fine, it's okay. He goes off and does his little thing. Like goes around and talks to himself, bless him. 
and I'm just like, what shall I do? Go clean some windows. It's not very exciting, but like I said earlier, it's just little jobs that have got to be done, haven't they? So yeah, I am going to crack on, pick the rest of this up and then sweep the rest of the shed out. Fun times. Hi guys. I hate to think how much dust I've got around my face. What's something in my eye for definite? I'd noticed the other day when I was editing the video for what would have been Monday's video, I was fine and then I must have rubbed my face and then I had like a literally like a Z mark, like I had literally loads of like dirt going on. I was like, what have I done? I don't even remember like touching my face. But anyway, Daniel's just come and spoke to me and said that if I go get the forklift, have a little try of moving a, a few bits about, and he's just said, come and get the yard brush, which is over here, over here. And he said, just, as long as I clip it in, put it on the forklift and just and just have a little go myself. But he just said, obviously, if, if um, I'm able to do things, just kind of use a bit of my initiative and have a go with things, then yeah. I can obviously just be left left to my own devices sometimes if there's things that just need doing, like sweeping the yard. But yeah, so I'm going to take the forklift. First of all, I've got a box of with a pallet that's got all of the glassy dust stuff that Daniel's been using for the shot blaster. And so I'm going to move that out. I'm going to try and put it in the shed round here. They call it the meal house. So then I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go get the brush. I'm a bit scared. But it's okay. I've got to try these things because otherwise, I like they can't do it for me all the time. So I've got to try it. Just going to hit Dad's truck. That would not be fun. Okay, let's turn you guys around. Come on, I'll do. on like how do I move the forks over on the uh, you have to just look at the look at the top of the fork it's got a lock on the top of the fork Anna yeah you just lift it up and twist it so it's up yeah it stays up and then you move the fork across all, all right. right yeah cool and then what do I do so I then put it put it um in on the forklift and then pull the legs up and yeah. then and then I just put the pins in place Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Okay, cool, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll have a try. Right, cool. I think I understand what I've got to do. So let's go try and do it. I'll move out of the way because I'll probably, <laughs> I'll probably be in the way. I'll come back to my little task at hand. Yeah, cool. I'll do that in a minute then. I will, I will do it. And Daniel did say actually, the field out there where I cultivated a couple of weeks ago, I can go out there with the tractor and trailer and just have a bit of a bit of reverse in practice. Okay guys, attempt number two at getting the brush 
on the forklift. There you go, you guys can sit and watch me. No laughing. Otherwise it looks okay. Daniel just sort of got the bar in the wrong hole. So I'll change that now. Go have a go with it. Start in the middle. I'll work my way back. Give myself plenty of space so I'm sorry. literally take me up my whole morning to just empty this shed oh well oh well but yeah really happy with myself that i managed to go and hook the brush up to the forklift and try to figure it all out by myself at the end there i kind of got one of the metal rods that keeps the forks on the brush kind of stuck but i was like i'm not gonna ask dad i'm just gonna try and figure it out myself so that's what i did and yeah pretty happy even though that probably should take me like 10 minutes it's taken me about five hours probably too long but it's okay don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys if you enjoy all of our videos and i'm gonna sign out here and i will see you all tomorrow have a really good evening and hopefully tomorrow will bring lots more fun we're hopefully going to get started on the grading line so have a good evening and i'll see you guys later Bye.